Hi. <laughs> uh, we're going to be, uh, since we're in the middle of uh, getting all this done, we're going to set up a, uh, we're going to set up a lintel. And um, not, not just any lintel, this is a, a Keystone lintel, who have very kindly sponsored this video for us. They are um, UK based. As well as their uh, lintels, they also do cavity trays, masonry support systems and wind posts. In fact, here's a uh, good look at some of the stuff they do. All these are keystone. And all their products are easy to use and high quality. They also produce bespoke lintels for more technical applications. Yeah. Let's get this in and show you what we mean. A bit of a bed on the back, a bit of a bed on the front. Yeah. In bed. Very thin bed. Just enough to stop it moving. These bricks dry out quick. Well, you don't put a lot. Of, you don't put a lot on just so um, you're not raising your brickwork, then making it hard to tap down on the lintel, which you don't want to do. There you go. Thank you. Let's hope I've took that enough. Nice and light as well. Yeah. Just slide that in here, yeah. There we go. One lint installed over a door. Uh, now all we need to do is... Oh yeah, you've got to allow 150 seat in. Now all we've got to do is bring the brickwork over and then our wall plate and then... This is a bit short at the front but it's, an e it's like an eaves lintel. It doesn't matter, there's going to be a fascia board comes on the front here. So um yeah let's um, get that brickwork done. Okay so today we're using Keystone SK90 90 for 90 mil for 100 mil cavity. We're still on 100 mil cavities up north. This is a thermal brake plate. What this does is it's only attached by little welds at strategic points so it's not solid. So, because it's not fixed solid, it reduces thermal bridging by 90%. What, um, and what it actually achieves is, it's, it turns the, uh, the lintel from a C-section into a box section by fixing it at the bottom, which will stop, stop it twisting. So I'm gonna bed this on. Don't need a massive bed. If you put a massive bed on, then you won't end up with a bed on top of the lintel. bricks last because it goes off very quick. Just a smidge. Just enough to keep the lintel back to brickwork. Get the lintel. Put your brick on to make sure you've got your, your gap. That's flush there. Check the back. That block work over. You can actually go back a bit that. Same there. Yep. Now, fair level please mate. I've got it. Okay, so it wants to go down this end. So, we're now ready to go over the brickwork and uh, first things first is the cavity tray, which I think Alice has already cut. Okay. That's in our way, that's done from There's our upstand, which we have to put right into the corner. Okay, 
lintels installed. Cavity tray is in position. Upstand on the end for our first vent. And then an upstand at this end for that pert there. There we go. So now it's just getting in the water. Um, so first vent there, other vent there, and then space them out evenly. I think um, every two bricks. Yeah, because we're not putting soldiers in, so it's every 450. Because uh, we're putting straight brickwork over the top. So yeah, um, let's get this first course down. How to install a steel lintel. There's a good shot of the brake plate. And yeah, all done. Solid as a rock. So don't forget to um, like, comment, subscribe and press that notification bell. And, um, thanks again to um, Keystone Lintels for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate it. It's been great working with you. Thank you very much. So we'll see you in the next one.